waits the winner of our final frame. What a match, what a final we've had. Mark Williams, one of the greats of the game, seeking his 19th ranking title. Jan Bingtao seeking to make snooker history by becoming the youngest ever ranking winner. Both of those scenarios still very much up for grabs. And he's left a long red. He's knocked some great balls in. Not this time. Well, is this red on to the middle? Checking to see that he doesn't leave anything. Takes it on and misses it. Oh, such a tough shot. Williams has never been in front in this match. Could, be, could this be the only game that he is? Well, timing is everything, isn't it? Considering taking the red on, wouldn't leave anything except the red is playing on. Well worth the chance. Played the positive shot. Has he left the red? The body language suggests he certainly has. Well, there's confirmation. Is this the first chance for Williams? Well, it's unacceptable. Well, someone has called out there just as Williams was down on the shot, and the referee is spot on. Unacceptable. And that made the pot all the more impressive. Williams' concentration broken, but he didn't let it phase him. And he's got a nice angle on the black just to touch the reds open and stay on the red to the right corner. Well, I'm surprised he didn't touch the reds open. This, this looked as though it had missed. Line. Well, the look on Yan Bing Tao's face when he realised he'd left that red for Mark Williams said it all. How damaging will that error prove to be? He's 
got to keep himself together and hope he gets a chance. Try and think positive thoughts. And he got the cannon nicely onto the red. Leaving himself on the red to the left corner. 16. Heavy contact, but fortunately he's got a red to the left middle. And a hit it, the wrong side of the blue. Lots of left-hand side on the cue ball to bring it down for that red to the right of the pink. Just a little too hard for comfort. Good recovery. Decided to go into them. But a 34 point lead and push the black safe. Got a red on the cushion. So a very handy early advantage in the decider for Mark Williams. And I think he may have left this red to the right corner. Very tough from where he is, tight under the cushion. But I think he can get to this red. What a tough pot. Now it was tough, but not a bad kiss. Hasn't left anything easy. He's barely refused anything all day long from that range, and he's got most of them. The red is on to the ball corner. And so is that red. And I'm not sure if that's done him a favour really. Because if he plays to pot the black, he brings it back onto its spot and it's in a potable position. Okay, thank you. If you want to, if you want to go outside for the last, for the rest of the frame, just let us know. The vast majority of this Belfast crowd have been fantastic all week. They don't want their enjoyment spoiled, and of course, neither do the players want their concentration broken at these crucial moments. Well, there's been virtually nothing to choose between them, has there?
Well, the black now back in play. Eight. It's a very good lead, 42 at this stage, it's about one safe red, contemplated taking the red onto the left middle thin shot, bringing that cue ball back down the table towards the black. Mark Williams, eight. And a very good pace on the cue ball. Brand new territory, of course, for Yan Bing Tao. Final frame of a ranking event. Mark Williams has been there, done it. Worn the T-shirt on many occasions. side on the cue ball. That's his left hand side on the cue ball to try and get that cue ball in behind the brown which is done. And once again Yan Bing Tao very quick to tap the table in appreciation of that safety. What great sportsmanship this game produces. He didn't want the kiss on that red. He's developed the red, and just when he needed a little bit of luck, he gets the wrong kind. One. So now a great chance for Mark Williams. He needs to disturb the Reds. Six. Some stage. Seven. Well, easier to go into the Reds from the blue. Well, if he's got the angle on the red to try and get top side of the blue. He's just had a look at the pink to see if pink will go to the right corner. Will he be able to nudge a red towards the left corner? And that's where he's played. This should work out. It could be a match winner. It could be a title winner. And that has worked out. It could have been better. But he's on the red. Nineteen. He needs red and a color. Well, red and a black. And I, can, I think you can just about see the black. 
What a performance this has been from Mark Williams. Yes. Yeah, that's there. Never say die, Mark Williams. He has battled through and through. It's 1996 that Mark Williams lifted his first ever ranking title. The catalyst for a wonderful career. Well, he's missed the black. There are only 59 left, so three snookers are required. Perhaps he just got ahead of himself for a moment there. But it's a long way back for Yang Bing Tao from here. <laughs> How has he gone through that gap? Yeah, I'm being tough. That's incredible. Tough down, please. Another good safety, not quite a snooker this time. Oh, chance to get three reds, three blacks, and leave one red left on the table. One. Just a reminder Eight. then, two snookers required for Yang Bing Tao. Len. Seventeen. Now I could do with leaving the cue ball just above the black here. Just drop it in, let it wait. That looks good. Now the way I'd play this shot is red behind 24. the blue, white behind the black, but it's dangerous. That's a better way of playing it. Young McTell, 24. Well, just a sliver of hope for the Chinese. Yes, and he cannot afford to play this hard because we'd leave a free ball. And if he plays it slow and misses it, it leaves the chance of another snooker. Play played. He is cucumber call, isn't he, Mark Williams? He knows this final should be over by now. He missed that easy black. He was already envisaging lifting the trophy. And that could have been a very uncomfortable moment for him. But if he hits the red, it's still two snookers. Make sure the red is safe. When you're attempting the snooker, make sure the red first, the snooker second. That's another one. Can you swerve it?
Well played. It could be good. It could be good. Not quite. Again, it could be good. He's giving it everything, the 17 year old. And again, well hit. Well played, says Yan Bing Tao, tapping the table once again. Just too hard. So near and yet. Well, a chance here if you can get the red in behind the black. And again, that's just as good. Well, he's played some snookers, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm being sour. Again, this, he has to hit this, otherwise he'll be snookered again next shot. Amazing quality of snooker here. At the climax of this great final. <laughs> Williams, great to watch. Forty-two, the difference. Remember, thirty-five on two snookers required for Yan Bintao to turn this final on its head. And this is close. Well, that's what you want when your opponent needs snookers. Put him in one. Too big to swerve. Foul. Oh. And surely, Mike Williams, seven. And seven. there's the handshake to end a marvellous Northern Ireland Open final. And you have to credit Mark Williams, what a champion he is, what resolve he has shown, never ahead until it really mattered. Final frame, what a performance from Yan Bing Tao, what a talent he is, he will be winning big very soon, mark my words. But Mark Williams is celebrating, he's lifted his 19th ranking title.
He is the Northern Ireland Open champion for 2017 by nine frames to eight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from both your finalists, Mark Williams and Yan Bing Tao. Ladies and gentlemen, we went away tonight and I want you to show your appreciation to a young man who nearly created history tonight by becoming the youngest ever player to win a ranking title. Yan Bing Tao's English is Yan Bing Tao's English is improving by the day. Not quite there yet to do a full interview, but we all speak the universal language of sport. And I think you agree, this young man is a future megastar of snooker. Ladies and gentlemen, lift the roof off the waterfront hall for your 2017 Northern Ireland Open champion, Mark Williams! Well, Mark, he might not speak English, but it might be an easier interview than you because you play your cards very close to your chest. And I know not to pry too much, but what a week it has been, been for you. Just what's gone through your head? It's been a brilliant week. Um, okay, this is the first, I think this is my first tournament since 2011. They keep telling me, so I'm over the moon. That, you know, I've been playing well for all season, really. And I, I won the six reds, which you know, is not a ranking tournament, but it's still a tournament for me. And, uh, you know, this arena is fantastic. The crowd's been fantastic all week. And uh, what can I say is uh, number 19. He's meant to be the teenager. He's meant to be the one that never gives up. He's meant to be the one that feels invincible. But you're playing snooker at the moment it's totally rolling back the years it could be a very special season if it isn't already yes it's a good season already i mean you know i chucked everything at him and some of the long pots he was potting especially from this side of the table he didn't even look like missing you just can't believe he's only 17 i mean what's he going to be like in another 12 months i'm just glad that uh time he reaches 25 i'll be i'll be retired and watching him in the house <laughs> You'll be on the first plane home. Family more important than snooker. I think that's a message that comes across loud and clear this week. Yeah, I'll, I'll go home now and uh, speak, to, speak to the hospital now, see the missus, see how she is, and uh, just see where we go from there. Yeah. Well, listen. We know exactly what it means to Mark. We don't need to ask more questions. We don't need to pry. We know the story. We know this is an amazing week for you. We can't wait till you get home. We can't wait until you lift that trophy. Your champion, Mark Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our presentation party, WPBSA Chairman Jason Ferguson and Daffa Bet Ambassador Jimmy White. <laughs> Receiving his runner-up medal and a cheque for £30,000. He's had a fantastic week. Make some noise for Yang Bing Tao! Receiving a cheque for £70,000 and the Alex Higgins Trophy, the Daffabet North Mound Open Champion 2017, 
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mark Williams! What a proud moment for one of the all-time greats of this great game, Mark Williams, an emotional Mark Williams who's been through the mill in the last few weeks. His wife, Jo, has been very poorly. She's been in and out of hospital. And, of course, in those circumstances, in comparison, snooker is trivial. But it's a wonderful achievement. More than two decades after his very first ranking title, he's won his 19th and a special moment alongside the great whirlwind. WPBSA chairman Jason Ferguson and that coveted Water for Crystal Alex Higgins trophy. Not to mention the check, the £70,000 and the ranking points that go with it. He's a certainty now for the Masters with the UK Championship, of course, to come this weekend. And Joe Johnson, we couldn't have wished for a better final. <laughs> Do you know? I've said it before, it's a shame there had to be a loser, but you feel so pleased for Mark Williams, who at 42 has won another ranking event, and it just shows you, if you're dedicated like he has been for the last few months, you can still do it at the top if you're special enough, and he is special. Thought about quitting the game, such was his form, but of course hooked up with Steve Feeney and sight right, and it's done wonders for restoring his confidence. And this is the result. And Joe, just a word about Yan Bing Tao, because he is a sensational prospect. Well, absolutely. I mean, 17-year-old, that's um, Ronnie O'Sullivan's standard, isn't it? He was 17 when he won his first tournament. But, but absolutely fantastic, and he provided one of the best finals I've seen in a long time. Brilliant stuff from Yan Bing Tao. And surely only a matter of time, and I don't think it'll be too long before Yan is lifting a major trophy but in the meantime it's Mark Williams out signing a few autographs posing for a few photographs he is